information ever since. Fox 5's Linda Schmidt tells us what is happening now. Well, the cancer-causing metal that we're talking about here tonight is called hexavalent chromium. And health officials say it started leaking from a plant 30 years ago. That plant used to be right here behind me in this area. But now officials believe it may have leaked even more than originally thought. Donnie Caldario has lived in Garfield, New Jersey for 63 years. His home is right across the street from the former plant. Now he and others have to get tested to see if they have been exposed to the carcinogen. I'm concerned because I've been here all my life and, you know, I have my grandkids come over. NYU School of Medicine is conducting the testing for Garfield. More than 3,700 residents may have been and still may be exposed to hexavalent chromium that leaked into the groundwater. Researchers will collect toenail clippings from them because they are the best indicator. Professor Judith Zelikoff spoke to us via Skype. In order to have any health implications, you must be exposed. And we don't know as of this point whether anyone has been exposed. Hexavalent chromium is the same metal that caused cancer in residents in California that the movie Aaron Brockovich was based on. Unlike the, the Aaron Brockovich story where it was the hexavalent chromium was contaminating the drinking water, this is not the same case. This is contaminating the groundwater, and there are no drinking water wells in Garfield. The EPA designated this site a Superfund site in 2011 and demolished the plant. Authorities say the only way that you could possibly be exposed is if the contaminated groundwater leaked into your basement. It leaves behind a yellow dust that you can inhale, so the best protection is to stay out of your basement. Donnie and his brother Paul say they have never seen any sign of it. It was tested twice has come out very clean no problems and health officials are telling us it's going to take five to six weeks to get the results of the toenail tests in garfield new jersey i'm linda schmidt fox 5 news outrage and concern tonight over drinking water fountains in some new jersey schools nearly 200 water fountains and sinks in jersey city schools contain lead levels above federal standards experts say the contamination can cause problems for children's mental development. Nobody's going to let us home to the parents advise them of the situation that's going on inside the school, so yeah, I'm a little upset about that. The school district says the contaminated water fountains were shut off a few years ago, and there are signs warning students and teachers not to drink the water. Well, more than 100 current and former workers at Nassau Coliseum on Long Island are suing about asbestos in the workplace. They include electricians and carpenters who worked as independent contractors. They're alleging that long-term exposure to asbestos at the Coliseum has made them seriously ill. A lawyer says, uh, that told Newsday that 140 people have filed notices of claims stating the county-owned arena failed to protect them from asbestos. The fuck? action lawsuit seeking between 500 million and 1 billion dollars the county's lawyer says uh, quote there is no substance behind these claims a very special and very big delivery in connecticut an endangered baby giraffe was born last week at a conservation center in greenwich fox 5's ashley mastronardi makes the introduction when this three-day-old baby giraffe was born it played out like a scene from the lion king with the other giraffes at Leo Zoo taking a front row seat. They were all hanging their heads over and watching, and they were so excited, and it's almost as if they knew when that exact moment was going to be. What a moment it was. Unlike most babies, this one was able to get off the ground only a few minutes after being born. She stands almost six feet tall, but has been growing by the hour. It's almost like watching one of those nature films where they have the time-lapse photography. You can almost see her growing in front of you. The baby giraffe and her mother, Petal, are endangered Rothschild giraffes. There are less than 670 of those left in the world. The Conservation Center, a private refuge for threatened animals, has two other pregnant giraffes on premises. Director Marcella Leone says breeding these rare species is a dream come true. Being able to have these animals off exhibit and give them huge spaces and a lot of peace, they're breeding and they're going to make a difference in the world. Leone says the next order of business is to let the public pick a name for the new baby. You can go to the Leo Zoo website and give it your best shot. In Greenwich, Ashley Mastronardi, Fox 5 News. Very cute. Well, thanks, but no 